welcome dear students to this program dear students today we are going to discuss from class 9 mathematics book on chapter 10 that is circle part 6 dear students today we are going to discuss about angles subtended by an arc of a circle so before going to discuss about this angle subtended by an arc let us understand what is angle subtended by an arc. You see, if you take two equal chords, what can you say about the size of the arcs? Let us have a look at this figure. Here we have two chords PQ and RS. These are two equal chords. And if we cut the RS, uh, cut the circle from RS, and we superimpose it on the minor arc PQ, then we can see that both will match. What do you mean by that? Is only the their length equal? No. In this case, they are congruent. So, if two chords of a circle are equal, then their corresponding arcs are congruent and conversely, if we if two arcs are congruent, then their corresponding chords are also equal. Now you see, here you have a picture. As you know, PQ is a chord and it both the end points are joined to O. So, the angle POQ is said to be the angle subtended by the chord PQ. Also, we can say that this angle is subtended by the minor arc PQ. On its opposite side, the major arc also subtend an angle that is reflex of angle POQ. That is, we can say the angle subtended by an arc at the center is defined to be angle subtended by the corresponding chord at the center. So, as you know that the minor arc subtend the angle and the major arc subtend the reflex of that angle. Now, let us have a look at this figure. Here, in this case, here the minor arc PQ subtend angle POQ and the major arc POQ, PQ subtend the reflex of angle POQ. Now, see, in this figure, we have two equal chords, so we have two congruent arcs. As we know that two equal chords subtend equal angles at the center, so we can also say that congruent chords subtend equal angles at the center. So here congruent arcs or equal arcs of a circle subtend equal angles at the center. Is there any relationship between the angle subtended by an arc at the center and at a point on the circle? Yes, the relationship is stated by this theorem. The theorem states the angle subtended by an arc at the center is double the angle subtended by it at any point on the remaining part of the circle. Let us have a figure. You see, we can have these three cases. In first case, the PQ is the minor arc. In second case, PQ is the semicircle. And in third case, PQ is the major arc. So, in this case, first case, POQ is the angle subtended by the minor arc PQ. And A is in the rest part of the circle. So, PAQ is the angle subtended by minor arc in the rest part of the circle. Similarly, if PQ is the uh, PQ is the angle subtended by semicircle, then its opposite side, the rest part of the circle is uh, is also a semicircle. So here, in this case, POQ is the ma major arc and the angle subtended at the 
center is reflex of angle POQ and its angle on the rest part of the circle is PAQ. So by taking any one of these cases, we can prove and it is also true for each case. Now you see, in this case, we have PQ as the minor arc. So what is given here, the arc PQ of a circle subtending angles POQ at the center O and PAQ at a point A on the remaining part of the circle as we discussed earlier. Now, what to prove? We have to show that POQ, the angle POQ is twice the angle PAQ. Now, to prove this, we need a construction. What is the construction here? Let's join AO and extend it to a point B. Now, let's have the proof. In this case, all in all these all the cases you see b o q see b o q is the exterior of the triangle that is a o q and we know that the exterior angle is same as the sum of the interior opposite angles so angle b o q is equal to angle o a q plus a q o now you see the, the uh, condition is due to this that is an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two interior opposite angles. Now you see in this case in triangle OAQ we have OA and OQ are equal. Why? Because they are ready of the same circle. So as you know that in triangle if two sides are equal their opposite angles are equal so we get OAQ angle is equal to angle OQA. Now if we consider the previous one that means we get that angle BOQ is equal to twice the angle OAQ. Let it be the equation 1. Now similarly we can also prove that this angle BOP is twice the angle PAO or OAP. Here this is the equation 2. Now if we add these two, what do we get? We get angle BOP plus angle BOQ is equal to twice angle OAP plus twice angle OAQ. So, by taking two common, we have OAP angle plus OAQ angle. Now, what is BOP plus BOQ? See, BOP and BOQ constitute the angle POQ. So, we can write that angle POQ is equal to 2 into OAP, OAP plus OAQ constitute the angle PAQ. So, we can write POQ is equal to 2 PAQ. This is our proof. The minor arc, what we can say for PQ as the uh, major arc, what can we say? That it is reflex angle of POQ. This is reflex angle of POQ, that is, its value is twice the angle PAQ. Now, you see. In this case, if we join this P and Q, we get a segment. If this is the segment, we have two segments, one is major segment and another is minor segment, we can say this angle PAQ is, a, is angle subtended by PQ in the segment. Okay? Now, this is the angle in the seg segment. Now you see angle subtended in a semicircle is a right angle. If you look at this figure, as you know that PQ is a diameter, it divides the circle into two halves, that is two semicircle. 
if we consider one arc to be one is to be arc and the rest part is also a semicircle so POQ is 180 degree the angle subtended by the uh, semicircle is 180 degree and in the and inside it the angle in the segment that is inside this uh, semicircle is half of it means half of 180 degree that is 90 degree so the angle uh, subtended in the uh, semicircle is a right angle so it is said that angle subtended in a semicircle is a right angle now you see in this figure we have apart from a we have another point c on the same segment so what about the angle subtended by pq minor r at the rest of the circle if we take any other point c on the remaining part of the circle what is the relationship between the angle subtended by r p q at a and c you see in this case this relationship is stated by another theorem the theorem states that angles in the same segment of a circle are equal now you see if the angles on the same segment are equal then how to prove this let's see here is the figure pq is the minor arc and rest of it is the major arc a is a point on the uh, major arc c is also another point on the major arc so what is given here o is the center of the circle and paq and pcq are the angles in the same segment of the circle so what to prove we have to prove that these two are equal so we can write that angle paq is equal to angle pcq to prove this we need a construction as earlier we learned that the angle subtended at the center is twice the angle subtended at the rest part of the circle so to use this we need a construction so here the construction is join po and qo now the logic says that if poq is the angle subtended by minor arc pq and paq is angle subtended in the rest part of the circle then what is the relationship between these two angles the relationship between says that angle poq is equal to twice the angle paq let it be equation one let's have the same situation for the angle pcq so we can say that poq is the angle subtended by the minor arc pq at and pcq is the angle subtended in the rest part of the circle so we have the same condition that poq is equal to twice the angle pcq poq angle is equal to twice the angle pcq let it be equation 2 now if we compare these two equations we can see that on both the equation we have poq on left side so the right side must be equal that means p a q is equal to p c q so by getting this we prove that and the angle subtended in the same segment are equal now you see here is a is one of the application the question says in the figure a b and c are three points on a circle with center o such that angle boc equal to 30 degree and angle aoc equal to 60 degree if d is a point on the circle other than the arc 
ACB find ADB. So let's see. This is the given circle. O is the center. This angle is BOC is 30 degree and AOC is 60 degree. So given angle BOC is equal to 30 degree and angle AOC is equal to 60 degree. Now the arc SCB and rest part of the circle is the major arc SCB and D is a point on it and it is given that D A D B is angle subtended by arc by arc A B on the rest part of the circle. So you see A O C and B O C are adjacent angles. So sum of these two angles that is angle B O C plus angle A O C is equal to 30 degree plus 60 degree and sum of these two angles is same as angle A O B. So we can write angle A O B is equal to 90 degree. Now you see A O B the this implies angle subtended angle subtended by arc a b say a c b at the center is equal to 90 degree. So, the angle subtended by arc SCB on rest part of the circle by arc SCB on uh, at a point on rest part of a circle say at D is half of it. That is angle ADB is equal to half of angle AOP that is half of 90 degree is equal to 45 degree. So the measurement of angle ADB is 45 degree. Dear students, today we learned about the angle subtended by an arc and the angle subtended by an arc and uh, uh, the angle subtended by an arc at the center and at the rest part of the circle and the, their relationship. I hope you understand all these discussions. Have a good day. Thank you.